I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions. We're going to do that by timing ourselves with decision making during the Charleston. I'm going to use a smartphone with a stopwatch app and that way we can do five laps. Uh, lap one, three, and five. Those will be the sprints. In between, we'll do setup. And this way we can track our timing. If you are a beginner, you want to make decisions in under four minutes. If you're an intermediate player, under three minutes. And if you're an advanced player, try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you ever want to play in a tournament or another competitive event, maybe play with people who are better than you, people who make quicker decisions, this is a great exercise that you can do at home. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here's my smartphone with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Okay, Joker, Flower, Ooze, 379 in dots, 2, 5, 6, 9 in cracks, and a 1, 9. I would focus on 3, 6, 9 or like numbers of some kind because we have Ooze. We're almost at News here. So I would pass these three. We don't have keepers. We picked up a pair though here. Five crack, five, six, five, six. We have two tiles to pass, three. I think I'd let the three go. A white dragon. Okay, so let's see, five, six, nine. I think I would go ahead and pass these. This goes to another person. We got a nine and a flower, eight crack. I would focus on nines, break these up. Oh, that's risky. No keepers. Another flower. We have east. We'll pass those. We got a south. We don't need it. I would go ahead and pass them all. lap. Okay, so we have like numbers. That was a really good result. Nines, almost news, or we can do nines with flowers. And we have three discards. I would say that was a really good, a really good result. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one, in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. We have 
pair north, east west, green dra or red dragon, four bam, two, four, six, seven in dots, pair four, four crack, nine crack. So with these, I would leverage the multiples, fours, fours, news concealed with fours. I'd probably let that go. Maybe we do have some two, four, six, eight in here. Let's pass these three. There's six, eight, four, six, eight, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, north, no south. I think I would still focus on fours. North. Okay, we got a two and a two. Look at these twos. Okay, two dot pair, two six, news, year tiles. Let's let a four bam go. We could maybe play the news concealed year hand. <gasps> Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's do, oh, let's do the one or two. We'll, we'll go with fours. A flower we don't need a flower okay let's do one two seven one two seven we got a dragon now that we let the twos go all right another dragon oh my goodness okay so now three five fours with news I don't think I would pass those. I think I would do two. Oops. Oh, we got a two back. Lap. Okay, look. We got a two back. So we could maybe do a year hand with news. So I would keep at least one of those. This flower probably can go. But there is that news hand with flowers fourth one down under winds so i would say that was a pretty good result we have two discards not bad okay now last sprint Okay, west, one, two, four, bams, two, three, six, eight, nine, and cracks, one, four, six, nine, and dots. Pair nine, that's where I would start, pair nine. So I would hold probably three, six, nine, three, six, nine of some kind. So west can go. Let's break out the one and the four. We're going to hold every 369. We're not even going to look at the card. We're just going to hoard. Let the hoarding begin. Let's break out the two. No keepers. We do have a pair in here. Two pair. Oh my goodness. Four, eight. 369 looks pretty good though. I would break these up. No keepers. Let's pass the eight with a five. We got a three. Two, two crack pair. I probably would pass like thusly. Let's see. We got a flower. That's helpful. We've got a pair in here. I would want to, let's see here. I think I would pass fully. Uh-oh, 
Uh, that one right there probably. Okay, so now we have tiles we can pass. Lap. Okay, three, six, nine. We have four discards. Don't even need to look at the card. You just gather. Three, six, nine. If I had to pick a hand, I would probably play three, six, six, nine. Let these go. But I would wait. I would continue to gather until we run out of discards and then pick a hand. Let's see how things went with time. One way to make really quick decisions is to not look at the card. When you get your dealt hand, identify the predominant pattern. If you have a multiple, work that in. Let that drive the decision making. But play a category that will use most of your tiles and then gather. You really don't need to look at the card at all until you run out of discards that you can pass during the Charleston. If you get to a place where you need to make a choice and you only have, let's say, two tiles to pass, then you could take a moment to look at the card. But don't dilly-dally. You got to make it quick. That's why this exercise is such a great skill builder. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try and let me know what range you're in. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, the thresholds are under four minutes, under three minutes, under two minutes, respectively. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.